Hi everyone, welcome to the virtual Linux tutorials. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a shared folder that your virtual Linux system can access. Okay, so this is what we want to do. So we have our virtual Linux system, which is here. And then I also have my main system, which is here. All right, so on my main system, which is also Linux, by the way, I have this folder called share. All right, and I have a script here, okay, just um, a, a file, or we have some files, all right. And so what I want to do is that when I go to my virtual Linux system, which is here, okay, I want to be able to open it and then when i open this virtual system i should be able to see my folder the shared folder that i showed this one here all right so that's what we are going to do basically in this tutorial so without further ado let's get started so first of all you need to make sure you have your linux your virtual linux system already available i have already created mine if you want to learn how to do that i have a tutorial that shows how to do it all right so you need to first make sure you have that all right and then once you have that okay what you need to do next is to shut it down i'm going to shut it down and then after shutting it down visit that virtual machine so this is my virtual machine this one here okay so visit your virtual box software click on that virtual machine which you want to enable the shared folder and then go to settings here so click on settings and when you click on settings what you want to do is to come down to the shared folders this one here okay shared folders this one here so click it and then when you click it come to the right side there's this plus which says add new shared folder so click this and when you click it it will ask for folder path all right so come to the right side of this one this line this folder path entry box there's this small downwards pointing arrow so click it and then it will say not selected and add that so click on other and when you click on other you can now go and search for the folder that you want to share so in my situation this is the folder i want to share it's called share this one you can also create yours by the way it's fine just make sure you have a folder which you can access so this is mine okay so i have it and i'll click on open you can also use any other folder of, of, of your choice that's fine okay so just try that and then click on open and as you see the path the absolute path of that folder all right okay it also says folder name share so that means this name when um, the system the virtual system gets to see this folder this is the name that it will give to it it's called share so you have to decide what name you want for it that's fine but i'll keep it with the default name and then it says mount point where you want to mount it all right so you can decide to mount it in a certain place you want but i'll leave this okay with the default settings okay so i don't want us to complicate stuff if you are an advanced user you can still do stuff but for a beginner let's maintain what we have now now when we come here it says read only so when you check this that means that in your virtual environment you will not be able to modify so that means you can't write to it you can't create files into it you can't create scripts that's certain things so basically it's restricted so if you want to be able to freely access and maybe create files into that directory files while using the virtual environment then you have to make sure this is this is not changed okay what i want to do is to auto mount i'll check this so auto mount means that whenever i open my virtual environment that particular folder should be automatically mounted or let's put it simply should be automatically be made available to me in that virtual 
environment. All right. In some virtual box versions, you also have permanent. So if yours, your virtual box software, the version you have, there's also a session for permanent. Make sure you check it so that whenever you open the virtual environments, you have access to the shared folder. All right. So this is version seven, so it's auto mount. So basically, permanent has been enabled by default, I suspect. All right. So once we are done, go to OK, and that is done. Okay, that's the first step. All right. Now let's go back to this. Let's click on OK, and then let's start the virtual machine, which is here. Okay. So click Start, and then let's make sure the virtual machine is booting. So let's wait for everything to get done. All right, so I can now log into my virtual environment now. So I'll click and I'll enter my password. So this is the only account I have on it. Yours is likely to be different, okay? Depending on what name you use to create the account, all right? So just make sure you log into the virtual environment. All right, so the virtual environment has been opened successfully. Okay, I'm using Ubuntu by the way. Okay, so let's proceed. So that's what we are going to do next. So once we have this open, what we want to do is to open a folder. So I'll just click. So when I click on this folder, I'm using Ubuntu. So when I click on it, then I'm going to see this is called SF underscore shared. I'm going to see this here. All right. Now, some of you may see it. Some of you may not see it. If you don't see this, don't worry. We are going to resolve it. So if you don't see it, that means you need to make sure you have installed the virtual bus guests extension. Or to, to put this correctly, so you need to make sure you have installed the virtual box guest additions. Okay, that's the actual name. So virtual box guest addition. So this allows you to add configuration such as shared folder to your virtual box environment. Okay, your virtual environment. So if you don't see it, that's fine. We are going to resolve it. So if you don't see this, then what you need to do is to close your folder. Okay. And then in your virtual box software itself, the one that I have opened, the active one, okay, just go to devices, okay, in the virtual box itself, okay, the virtual environment, go to devices, you will see it here somewhere here, okay, devices, and then go to insert guest additions, okay. So when you come to insert guest addition CD image, then you will insert it and then you will install okay so click and then when you click it's going to be mounted okay and then you will see something like this here okay so in some cases it will automatically start the installer for you okay so once it's mounted it will start the installer for you but mine i've already installed it so probably that's why it's not showing now if you insert and there's no issue and the installer does not start you can still come to the folder click it and when you click it you will see that it has been mounted here so you can click in it and when you click in it we are going to see several files here so just right click and go to open in terminal okay when you go to open in terminal you open the terminal directly in that particular directory okay so what you want to do is to run this particular installer this one here so to run it let's come to the terminal let's do an ls let's see it so we, we have to run this first because we are using ubuntu so what you want to do is to use sudo dot slash and then And then you specify the file like this and then you run it okay so that's what you have to do so once you do it you will find some instructions coming up you may need to enter some keys 
some small information basically so once you do it this way you will finally set up the guest additions and then you have to restart your computer okay so that's what you have to do so you have to use sudo by the way okay it's important so you have to use sudo because it's least administrative privilege so when you do sudo dot slash and then you specify the file then you hit enter you'll be required to give a password okay so once you enter the right password it's going to install everything for you that's how it's going to be okay so for me i already have it installed so i don't need to install all right but if you don't have it installed you need to make sure you install it that's what you need to do all right so once you are done with the installation it will let you know when it's done okay so once it's done what you need to do is to restart your system all right so that means you will have to just close everything and then just shut down your pc okay or you can even restart from the ubuntu system itself so we just come here okay there's normally a power section here so click and you can restart in the virtual environment itself you can just restart basically from here so click and then just restart all right so let's do that now all right so after you have successfully installed the guest additions come back to the folder here and then when you open it you should see your shared folder here this one here all right so once you see it let's even enlarge it a bit so once you see just click it and when you click it okay it's likely you may see this notification coming it says you do not have permissions necessary to view the contents of this that's fine okay once you get to this stage it's fine we are almost there all right so that means you have to grant um the current user accounts permissions to access this folder all right so what we do is to add this to the virtual box group that's what we have to do first okay to be able to finally access it okay so click on okay don't worry so just close and then open your terminal All right, and then you have to add this current user to the virtual bus group. So first of all, what you need to do is to search for the group itself. I will just do this. I can just tell you, but I just want us to check something here. So I will just say grep dash i. I will say mailbox. I will say slash etc slash group. Okay, I see mailbox sf. So this is what you need. Or you can also just grep. And say vein box sf and then say slash it is slash group okay so this is the group that we need okay this is it so this is what we need so we need to add this user to this group so that we can now assess that folder that shared folder all right so what we need to do is to add the user to that group okay and to do that we have to do this we need to say sudo user mode dash a that means we are pending dash gen to a group we are adding to a group all right so then you add the name of the group which is vain box sf and then you specify the user so my username here the user here is test so let's execute this command You'll be asked your admin password make sure you enter the right one and then once you are done if everything is okay nothing will be displayed so the user has been added to that group all right so now come back to the folder the shared folder open it okay and it just tells you you don't have permission that's fine all right so we just have to go to okay and then just restart our system okay so let's restart our system and the changes will take effect so let's restart yeah so the restarting is for the virtual environment all right so take note of that 
All right, so we have restarted it. Okay, I mean the virtual environment. So what you want to do is to come back, click the folder, and once you click it, go to it, it's sf underscore shared. All right, so click it, and I'm going to see your files there, okay? And you can access them from the virtual environment. So this is it. You can even create a new file. Okay, let me even switch to my other one. So this is my main system. Let's go there. So this is it. This is the shared folder. Okay, so this is it. And then we switch back to the virtual environment, which is here. All right, so we have it here. Okay, so here you can even create new files into this and to reflect on your main system. All right, so I'll do it here. So I'll, let's say new folder. Let's say from virtual Linux. Okay, so when you switch to your main system, you are going to see the file or the folder there. This is it. This is a directory. Okay. So this is it. So you can also add new. Let's say I'm adding a new. Let's switch back to the virtual environment. I can add some new scripts or files again. I'll just open my terminal. I'll just say touch. New script.sh, okay, which has been created here. When I switch to my main system, I see it here. Okay, so this is how we do it. So it's basically very simple if you follow this instructions. All right, so this is how we create a shared folder and allow us to be assessed via virtual environments okay so in this tutorial i use ubuntu but in principle you can apply this to other linux dice tools all right so this is how we do it and i'll see you next time